Before my first launch, I, I asked many of the astronauts who had already flown, you know, what's it going to be like? I mean, they put us in simulators and they shake the simulator a little bit, but they said, you know, forget it. That's nothing like the real thing. It's hard to prepare yourself. It's an exciting time. The last few minutes before launch, you, as the, the shuttle really comes alive, and then all of a sudden you get this big kick in the pants and you look out the window and there's the ground falling away and everything is shaking. And, and tremendous noise. Of course, we have helmets and, and our visors are down, so, and we have uh, earphones, otherwise we wouldn't be able to communicate. Um, people told me that there was gonna be more vibration than I could ever imagine, and, and they were right, because I couldn't imagine it. In fact, when the, there's a lot of vibration when you, when you lift off and, and reflections from the ground, 45, seconds later you're going straight up and you break the sound barrier and and that gives you even more vibration because you get all these shock waves and I remember thinking to myself no this can't be normal something that the wings are gonna fall off you know this something's wrong but I mean the structural engineers knew what they were doing and the wings did not fall off or else I would be here talking with you and um, and and yeah it's it's really I mean every rocket has its own characteristics with with the shuttle it was those two big solid rocket boosters that cause all of the vibration. And they, they burn for the first two minutes and there's, there's a big you know, hole down the middle of it and lots of turbulence inside. And that's what's causing all the vibration. Once they fall off, it's a really smooth ride. I mean, everybody then talks about, you know, it's an electric ride all the way up into orbit. So, uh, yeah, that, that contrast between the extreme vibration of riding on top of a... Of, or on the side of a, of a solid rocket booster, and then just the burning of the, the hydrogen oxygen engines was, was really quite extraordinary. It's quite a ride. Wow. Um, did anyone ever just get really scared right before liftoff? You have to have the right personality to do this. Now, there are some astronauts who will tell you they don't like launches because of the, the risk involved. H how do I deal with that? Well. I mean, we train and we train. There's a lot of things that can go wrong during liftoff um, and ascent that if the crew takes the right corrective actions, we will survive and everything will be okay. And I was fully confident that if anything like that happened, we were well trained and we would do the right thing. There's many things that can happen during launch with, over which you have absolutely no control. So why worry? If I can't do anything about it, I mean, that's a rational explanation, and, and fear is not rational. And, and so, yeah, there are some people who, who really don't like the risk. But for me, I mean, I remember before the first flight, riding out to the launch pad and looking up at this incredible vehicle that, that I'm going to get in and thinking to myself, first of all, you know, this is not the time to be asking yourself if you really want to do this, okay? But then what was really going through in my mind is, you know, ever since I was six years old and I saw Flash Gordon take off in his rocket ship in, in science fiction, and I always dreamed of doing it, and, and I'm about to, uh, you know, leave the planet. It was, it was exciting. I mean, so my idea was, you know, sit back and enjoy the ride. I, I'm not a pilot, so I didn't have to even worry about flying the shuttle. I could just look out the window and enjoy this incredible experience, which it certainly was.